this is Chris the Nightmare Ariel, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? Now I'm on SkySports.com, and I well actually I got sent this this link from uh, Adrian Granat's team, Andre. He sent me this link, uh, and it's an article here on Sky Sports. It says Granat says Price and Huey are weak. All right, and this article is by who is this by Isaac Robinson. So credit to Isaac Robinson. And credit to Sky Sports. Now, before I get to this article and what Adrian Granat had to say, uh, on my video I did, I believe I dropped that video August 2nd. And in the, the video was about um, Adrian Granat's challenge was accepted by Dillian White. So I did that video August 2nd. Now, I got a message on that video yesterday from former fighter and uh, Sky Sports. I know he does some work for, for Sky Sports. Um Spencer Farron. So he came to that video and he told me that Danny Williams told him that Adrian Granat really isn't that good. Now, we know that Danny Williams fought Adrian Granat. And yes, it is a past his prime uh, shot. Danny Williams. All right. But nonetheless, he did get in there with Granat and he got stopped. He actually got dominated in in that fight. Um, so then I got that message from Farron yesterday. So this morning when I seen the message, I asked him. I said, well, you know, did Danny Williams elaborate as to why he thinks Granat isn't that good? Or is just is just just a case of an old fighter past his prime? Just, you know, pretty much saying, yeah, if I was, you know, back in my heyday, I would have whooped Granat. You know, because a lot of old fighters, they do that. They get in there with these young guys and after the fight, they say, you know, if this was 15 years ago, I would have done this. You know, so he, I haven't got a message back because I just sent him that message a you know, asking him, did Danny elaborate as to why he doesn't think uh, Granada is the goods? All right. Now, with that said, with this article, I see here now we know that Granada has called out Price. He called out Huey Fury and he called out uh, Dillian White a week ago. And I like that. I like that he's not sitting quiet. He's not sitting stagnant and just waiting for things because nothing's going to happen to you if you just sit around and wait. I mean, you have to use social media to your advantage and especially if you're not somebody that's sitting in a mandatory position if you're an up-and-coming prospect you know you're undefeated you have to use social media and so i'm glad that uh granat and his team chose to do that they came out calling people out and they're serious they're not just calling people out for the hell of it they actually seem serious to get these fights so with this article on sky sports uh let me go ahead and read some quotes from adrian granat all right now he says, uh, I called out White, Price, and Huey, so we'll see if any of them accepts. And we know that Dillian White did accept, but let me just add this. Dillian White, before this Granat call out, him and Antonio Tarver were going back and forth. Even before the David Allen fight, they were going back and forth. So I would like to see the White versus Tarver fight, mainly because that fight was being talked about before the Granat call out. The guy who I want to see Granat fight is Huey Fury. I think that's a very intriguing matchup. And David Price, I know last I heard him and um, possibly he may fight Eric Molina. So and I've seen on Twitter that Eric Molina retweeted um, anybody that was talking about him versus David Price. He kind of retweeted those tweets, you know, just the idea of it. So maybe Huey Fury or not Huey, but maybe uh, Price is looking at Molina. I think Fury, Huey Fury should fight Adrian Granat. All right. But. Granat goes on to say, uh, I've spoken to Dillian, so we'll see if that can be made. I'll take any one of them. We're ready to take the next step. I haven't studied Price that much, but I've seen enough weaknesses in him that I could exploit. He looks pretty weak and limited sometimes in the way he fights. I think Huey moves better than Price and is a little bit faster. I think he's weak too. To hang with the big boys, though. It would be difficult for him to deal with someone of my size, skill, and strength. I believe I'm better, stronger, and tougher. All right. There are good and bad things about White. When I sparred him in Hamburg, we got along pretty well. But when it comes to trash talking, I don't agree with the way he does it sometimes. It's a bit unnecessary and at times, but that doesn't matter. It just gives me another incentive to beat him. It would be even sweeter. He can talk all he wants. If Dillian and I fight, there will be fireworks from both sides. We had some good sparring. 
Sometimes it was even, sometimes I felt I had the edge. I've boxed since I was a kid, so the movements and techniques come naturally. All right. When I was 22, he's 25 now. When I was 22, I was still like a puppy, Granat added. I'm still not fully grown. That will come in a couple years, but there's a big difference recently for me. I got my nickname from my old amateur trainer back in the day, and his nickname is The Pike. It's a fish that is common in Sweden. It's thin and strikes pretty hard, and that was me as a youngster. I started knocking guys out pretty pretty quickly when I was still skinny. I think I can do anything. I'll adapt and I'll bring a mentality that I believe few fighters have dealt with. When it gets tough, most fighters will break down. Before I break down, I bring very strong mental ability. My goal is to go all the way, and I believe I have the capabilities to do so. I'll do my best, and I love to compete. I want to challenge myself, and that's what I hope for. I want to get a big name for this autumn. All right, so, yeah, you know, he wants a big name for this autumn, for this upcoming fall. He, he wants a big name. He just isn't just, you know, saying it. I mean, he's calling people out. Now, you know, he has articles on Sky Sports. He has YouTube uploaders like myself. Uh, boxing gossip shout out to boxing gossip subs his channel great content a lot of guys you know uh deal town they're you know uploaders on youtube talking about him man so he wants a big fight as fans we want to see him in a big fight i say huey fury just because i haven't heard of any opponents for huey fury and i know fury in this camp they want anthony joshua now um i know at first they didn't want the fight because they say huey was fighting at you know 30 40 percent with his uh acne condition that um was hindering you know his performance according to um his father and his trainer now they want joshua i'm not sure they're going to get joshua i know uh hearn was talking about stavern and possibly a fight with uh pulev pulev's a possibility stern's a possibility you know in anticipation of their fight with joseph parker so i'm i'm, I'm not sure they're going to fight Huey and then we know that uh I also heard Hearn come out and say that uh he's not sure about a fight with Huey because of the UK AD investigation they're going to do supposedly in, in November with the Fury boys so I don't know man I mean maybe we can get uh Granat and Huey Fury in October maybe or something before that hearing um, I'm not sure what's going to happen with that hearing. I don't want to speculate because I, I don't know what the hell is going to happen with that. But one thing I do know, Adrian Granat wants a fight and he's calling people out, man. Um, I wish he would broaden it just a little bit. I know they, they want to, um, and I've been told this from their team before, that they want to conquer, you know, kind of the European side of things and then come to America. Um, I wish they would broaden it a little bit and not just, you know, call out those guys just from the U.K., um, I would like to see him call out guys like Jarrell Miller, Trevor Bryant, um, Gerald Washington, because um, I think they're all pretty much on the same level, you know, but I'm content with the guys that he did call out. I think they're all good matchups, man. I'll definitely watch, you know, so I'm just getting this out there, man. Adrian Granat, uh, at least according to this article, the title of it is he called uh, Huey and Price weak. So I'm just getting it out there. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section, man. I'm out.